my dear students in today's video i am going to discuss static and uh, dynamic forecasting of time series with exogenous variables and uh, i am using uh, the software called eviews let me start with the definition of forecasting what is forecasting uh, time series forecasting happens uh, when we make scientific predictions which are based on historical time stamped data time series forecasting involves building models through historical analysis and using them to make observations and uh, drive future strategic decision making it is a technique for the prediction of events through a sequence of time the technique is used across many fields of study from geology to behavior to economics time series forecasting predict future events by analyzing the trends of the past on the assumption that future trends will hold similar to historical data after defining the concept of uh, forecasting uh, i would like to use uh, my file data file uh, to try to forecast uh, time series so here is a uh, my file of the data and uh, this data is uh, contains 660 observations this is monthly data from 1960 january to 2000 december and uh, i have four time series that is industrial production ism payroll and uh, t bill 3m so these are my four variables first of all i would like to open these time series as a group and uh, these are the various time series and the data is here let me show there are 660 observation uh, the other three series have data for the entire range and the entire sample but the payroll data is only up to uh, 2013 march march 2013 and rest of the observations are missing so i would like to forecast uh, uh, payroll series from april 2013 till december 2000 uh, 14 so this is my aim today to forecast uh, this time series for these uh, missing observation so again since i am interested uh, only in payroll payroll time series so i will open this and uh, here is a uh, my data and i have already opened this uh, time series as a group but uh, let me let me check this and uh, let me show you the series here is a uh, the spreadsheet of the series so this is the time series. some observations are missing here and then uh, there are missing observation here from uh, march 2000, 2013 to uh, till december 2014 so let me start with uh, this simple regression since uh, i am forecasting the series with exogenous variable so i am regressing payroll on constant and uh, trend and then dummies for the uh, 12 months and uh, i am dropping the first month so here is my estimated equation uh, c is significant and this uh, trend is uh, significant and these are the various months uh, the first month has been dropped this is r squared and uh, the Durban Watson value is 0 0.11. So, since I am forecasting, so here uh, let me also show the residual, actual fitted, and the residual graph. And this is the graph. So, this red one is the actual, and uh, this green one is the fitted, and this blue line shows the residual. After this, uh, I will forecast 
these values so i would like to save this as a equation 1 f f is for forecasting and uh, here in this sample i would uh, like to show uh, this should be 2000 2013 month 4 to 2014 month 12 and since this is a uh, static forecasting so no dynamic equation that will be discussed later on and uh, if i uh, so this is the static forecasting forecasting and uh, this equation f shows the forecasted values of uh, month 4 2013 till uh, december 2014 so the red one are the uh, plus minus two standard errors bands this is the upper and this is the lower band and this is the actual prediction so this is how you can do that let me go to the file and uh, i can open this and this actual payroll and the forecasted equation together as a group and uh, so i have these two this one is forecasted and uh, this one is a uh, uh, actual payroll so now i will show you the graph of this so this is the graph this is the actual and uh, here we see the forecasting the forecasted value from uh, 2013 uh, april till uh, december 2014 so this is how you do that after this i would like to forecast uh, i would like to forecast the i would like to forecast uh, for the entire uh, range that is from uh, 2000 uh, from 1960 month 1 till uh, 2014 march 12 so i will uh, i will first uh, let me uh, set the sample so 19 1960 month uh, 1 till 2014 2014 month 12 so this is the this should be sample here okay so let me write here sample now it will set the sample from uh, okay so again i will regress this equation copy and i will set it here and uh, now my this should be again It should be ls instead of s since this is least square so now my estimated equation is this one now this sample is from 1960 january to uh, 2013 m3 but uh, i should write this as a uh, okay now let me forecast this and uh, I will write this equation 03 forecast and here in the sample I will write 1960 month 1 till 2014 month 12 that is December. So this is my forecasting of the series from 1960 January to 2014 December with the upper and lower band. Uh, that is with the plus minus two standard errors bands 
So this is how you do forecasting. After this, I would like to forecast out of sample. So for that, first I will set my sample as a 19. Okay, I will set sample S M P L 19. 60M01 M0, M0 to 2008 M12. So I am using this sample and uh, uh, let me Sorry, uh, let me use this equation LS tail instead of S. I will write LS, and uh, this is my estimated equation for the sample uh, 1960 January till uh, 2008 uh, December. Now I will forecast uh, for the period. Uh, out of sample. So, I will save this equation as equation 2 forecast and uh, here I am forecasting out of sample. So, instead of 1960, I will write 2009 M01 till uh, 2014 M12. So, this is out of sample because in the sample uh, 2009 month 1 to 2014 m12 are not included so in forecasting sample i am writing this so uh, this is my forecasting for uh, this period that is for uh, 2009 uh, m1 to 2014 m12 so this is how we uh, forecast now this uh, is identical with the forecasting of the overall series. After this, I would also like to for, to use forecasting with AR times. So now in a sampling uh, in sample set, I'll uh, use uh, this equation. This time, I am using this uh, regression again, that is least square, payroll, constant, trend, expand, month, and uh, now I will write drop last. This, this time, I am dropping the last month. So, and uh, I am also using uh, AR1 and AR2 here. So, I will write AR. 1 in parentheses and uh, AR2 in parentheses. So, I am using AR2. So, let me see what happens to the equation. Uh, here is my estimated equation with AR1 and AR2 at both of these terms are uh, significant. C is significant and trend is significant and uh, some months are significant, some are not significant. But uh, now, uh, I would like to forecast with this term and how can I do that? 